Okay, so today we're at Walmart parking lot because, uh, well, we got some bitches for uh, apartment neighbors. But anyway, so came to the Walmart parking lot to work on the old boy, or old girl, however you want to put it. It's my buddy. And uh, it's been running like dog shit. So I've been trying to get it all right. Uh, mess with carbs. I mean, I pretty much, I pretty much nailed it. If you, if you can ask if I have done it, yes, yes, I have done it. But anyway, um, I just wanted to kind of show you where I've gotten, and um, it's starting to get there and run a little better. It's kind of, this is my homemade gauge. It's actually two little uh, Harbor Freight. Um, vacuum testers I use a 20% off coupon for each one got them for like 13 bucks roughly out the door that's a piece of particle board a couple holes zip ties you know just set it all up it came with these black hoses I actually had to go to a pet supply store for these guys they're little aquarium valves um, all it does is restrict the airflow so you can actually get a reading and then this is actually aquarium tubing and then these little brass fittings um, I bought off eBay a long time ago they're the five millimeter ones uh, there are six millimeter though might need to check that out or you know take the little uh, mine has a little screw can't really see it you might be able to but it's up in there and it goes into the carb right there Mine's kind of dirty. And to give you a reference, it's literally right below where the choke goes. Right there in the front where the two cables split. Right there. But anyway, and as you see, it's on the passenger side or right side of the bike. And then the other one, if you go to the left side, the driver's side, and look, you might be able to see see that I don't know it's kind of bright out but there's where that one goes and it's literally right above your key ignition right there so there's that whole setup but anyway um, this is what we got like I said it was running very poor it's starting to run better so this is my idle sink See how I'm roughly about 25. I don't know if you can see that or not. About 25 on each one. And then as we give it gas, you want to see them fluctuate together. See what I'm saying? Now it's not going to be perfect, and keep in mind that this is a homemade gauge it's not you know i probably spent maybe 32 dollars on this with taxes and everything versus you can go online and order a hundred dollar gauge i just kind of wanted to demonstrate my setup now i also do have what they call the mano meter um there's several ways you can do it gatorade bottles uh, glass bottles aquarium tubing on a ruler there's i mean there's a million different ways this was just kind of how i did mine this is how i got it set this actually was a, a it was better for me because i was able to run the bike for longer and um you know actually get an idea of what's going on with these cables because you just see three different cables running everywhere and you're like man what the fuck does this one do what does this do you know and you're over here touching this little thing and what they don't tell you they're like oh this is the master idol the fuck it is this is his idol you set his idol and then you set his idol you know this is the rear cylinders idol this is not a master idol this is rear cylinders idol then once you set your rear cylinder idol because he is known as number one you come up here and under the gas tank you probably ain't gonna be able to see it oh I got my line hooked up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's not a big deal. Anyway, you can't really see, but this cable comes up into the back of the carb right there. It's your throttle sink, or your idle sink. And then once you have all that set, and like I said, how you set, and we're sitting here like boom, 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 boom. 
and we're right here, you know, at that 25 mark on both cylinders or whatever your bike is. Every bike's probably going to be different. I don't know. I don't know the spec. And then, so what you're going to do is you're going to rev it up and you're going to notice that one cylinder like goes real crazy and you're like, man, like one just drops off and your other one like picks up or vice versa, or maybe it fucking, you know, revs up, but it's kind of stumbling all over the place. It's like, bah, 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 bah. well, what you're going to want to do is set the rear cylinder is set to your handlebar. Okay. So you're, every time you pull it, you want your rear cylinder to do whatever it's going to do. And then you want to take and match the front cylinder to the rear cylinder. And then once you match the front to the rear, it should gradually increase like mine was. I'll show you one more time. So we're sitting here, and this is idle. We're roughly drawn about 25 on each cylinder. And then as we increase the desk, Why it dropped off like that, but and then, that's it. I mean, that's about all I got. Um, if you have any tips, please, please tell me. I, I mean, I'm a do-it-yourselfer. I am an AAC certified mechanic, blah, blah, blah. No one wants to hear that. Man, I really do. I just want ideas, you know? Like, I'm not a motorcycle mechanic. I'm just a regular old car mechanic. And, uh, I, you know, I, I like to be the jack of all trades, master of none. But I'm pretty damn good at everything I do, if you know what I mean. But thanks for watching. Uh, leave a comment or a tip, anything. Thanks.